We will look at superficially how autoencoders can be used for nonlinear dimensionality reduction. So let's consider the case we have some two dimensional data, but all the data appears to lie along this red line. So we want to perform a task of nonlinear dimensionality reduction, where we map the data to a single dimension, which tells us how much we have moved along the red line. The autoencoder is the method by which the nonlinear dimensionality reduction can be achieved from the two-dimensional X space to the one-dimensional U space. So this is the basic structure of the autoencoder. We have a function g phi of x which maps from the original x space to the dimensionally reduced u space. Then we have a reconstruction function f theta of u that maps from the dimensionally reduced u space to the reconstructed x hat space. The idea is to try and find the functions g and f so that we can find our dimensionally reduced space u. Typically, the function g is a deep neural network that must learn the parameters phi, and the function f is a deep neural network that must learn the parameters theta. We can train the pair of deep neural networks by minimizing the Euclidean distance between the reconstructed x and the original x, which is basically a loss function equal to the reconstruction error. Note, the dimension of u is a constraint that we must choose, and in our example with the graph, we have the dimension of u as 1. That's pretty much it for autoencoders. One more detail is that if the functions g and f are linear, the function g would be equivalent to principal component analysis that we have discussed in a previous video.